Hey, my name is Sengmana Jean-Claude. I'm a chemistry teacher at Gashoragas Academy of Science and Technology. I'm going to talk about Microsoft Forms. So Microsoft Forms is a simple, lightweight tool that lets you quickly create a form, collect responses in real time, and view automatic charts to visualize your data. So where Microsoft Forms is used and what is used for? Microsoft Forms is used to do surveys, to collect customer feedback, measure employee satisfaction, and organize teams' events. It is also used to create quizzes, measure students' knowledge, evaluate class progress, and focus on topics that need improvement. It is also used to create polls, find out what the class thinks of your trip idea, where the team wants to meet, or how attendees react to your presentation. So our next explanation is how to create Microsoft Forms and how to share it with your students. First of all, you go to Office 365, and then you go to App Launcher, and you choose Forms. So once you have found this page, it will show you the forms you have created already, and it will show the place where you can create a new form or new quiz. What is the difference? The new form, this is when you want to create survey or you want to create polls. But new quiz, this is when you want to create a real quiz, the one you are going to share with your students in the classroom. Now, let's start with the new quiz. It will show you a page which is untitled quiz, and you will need to change this and the, write the title of your quiz. For example, periodic table. After you have set the title of your quiz, now you enter description, for example, the rules or the terms and the conditions you want your student to follow. First of all, due date. After setting instructions, I start adding my question. I add new question and I choose which type of question I want to, it may be the open question or it is maybe a multiple choice question and then I choose multiple choice question and I write the question. Which element is not in a group one? After writing my question, now I will propose some answers. Option one, carbon. Second option, hydrogen. Let's say sodium. Third option, magnesium. Fourth option, they say potassium. After writing the options, I will need to choose which options are correct so that if the students send the answers, I will see which one have made it and which ones are uh, mistaken. So I may make this, make this one correct and also this one Correct. And for this one, I have to allow multiple answers, meaning that they can choose more than one answer. And I set some points, some marks for each question. This question, I give it two marks, and I make the question required. This time, every student will need to answer this question before going to the ne next. So I add another question, for example, is the symbol of magnesium. Here I may write NA, I may write MG, I may write H, I may write C, 
And again, I will need to show which one is the correct answer for the machine to give me the statistics of those students who made it. So this one is correct. I set it correct. And I don't allow multiple answers because I know the only correct answer is one. And I make the question again be quiet. So if I want to add more question, I, I may continue. But let's stop by here. Then the next step is how can you set the settings of your quiz? You go to settings and they ask you if you want the student to view or to see the results automatically after submission and then you deactivate this one. It's better to let all of them finish and then you send the responses after. After this one, you have also who can fit this form. You can see here anyone with the link, anyone who will get the link will answer. But if you want, you can make it private in only in your organization. You choose only people in my organization. Again, do you accept responses? Yes, you have to accept responses. And we go to start date and end date. This is the time you want your students to start the quiz. And this is the time you want your students to end the quiz. The student who opened the, the form after this time, it will not give her the question or him the question. You may shuffle the question for the, the, the order of question to come in a different uh, way. And many other options we can set here. And after you have set the settings of the form, you will come back and share to the students. How can you share your quiz to the students? You go to share. And here, it will give you a link. This link, it is where your questions are. You may copy the link. And after copying the link, you paste it somewhere where you know the students meet. This may be the email. This may be in the group, the social media group like WhatsApp or like Yammer. And every student who clicks on the link will get the uh, quizzes and start doing it. For example, if I go to Outlook and I compose a new form, I may write the email of my student. For example, this one. And I write the subject online. And I paste the quiz here. So with this link, this student will see the question and the fill in the form. I send the quiz and I wait for the students to send the responses. So you will need to know how the students will view their quiz or their forms. If you go to preview, it will show you how your students will see the form. It will show the instruction, due date, and this is individual work. And he said, hi, Segman, when you submit this form, the owner will be able to see your name and email address. And it will show this that where the student finds this red star, it will be a required question. And the student start answering. For example, here, what is the symbol of magnesium? Now, this student will choose this. And again, which element is not in group one? the student will choose this and this because I allowed multiple answers. And then after the student has finished all questions, he is going to submit. And now this will be a notification to tell the student that you have submitted your responses and the teacher will see the responses in the, in the form. This is the end of the presentation. I thank you for your attention, and I really like you can all use these Microsoft forms in your lessons because it is helping you to save time and it is helping you to give immediate feedback to your students. Thank you so much.